Hi guys, good morning. Welcome to Attenville TV. You're live with us and you're watching a Time Out with myself, Kimera Hirala, as yours, as always. <laughs> By my side, the beautiful Samantha Kai. Hi guys. <laughs> okay, so yeah. in, in South Africa, it's uh -huh. Pusa Thursday, meaning drinking Thursday, yep. alcohol Thursday, for those of you who are not from here. Um, it's a, how are you? I'm good, big you yourself. Eliza kicking. She knows what I'm going to say, but it's always going to be the same. I was hoping it's going to change today. <laughs> okay, I'll try. I'll try something new yeah. tomorrow. What if I told you I'm not fine? What would you say? I'll be concerned. Oh, <laughs> she cares, guys. <laughs> All right. So, um, on a, who's that Thursday? Okay. What did you get up to? Since you don't drink. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I just hang around people who drink. You and hang around people who drink? Yeah. <laughs> Why? I mean, getting to learn about people's personalities when they're drunk. Yeah. And some of them telling me your secrets. Well, this is a snitch of notes. I'm going to give her an award for this. <laughs> All right. Uh, for those of you who do want to interact with us in the studio today, please do so. I uh, hope you can see the, the contact details at the bottom of the screen. But yeah, anyways. Yeah. Um, so, so you get to know people in a drug state, sober yep. state, and then you see the different states, and mm -hmm. why do you do that? Okay, so my uncle, right, my late uncle, okay. he used to Sorry be that. super quiet when okay. he was sober, and when he was drunk, he's fun to be around, hey? Is he used it? to give me money, so yeah. as a kid, I was like, nah, I need to hang around people that are always drunk, because... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you came up with this concept to your uncle. And he had money. Okay. So they would give you money and forget that they gave you money. It's, it's like they would tell you, hold this for me, yeah. I'll be back just now. And they will never come back. Yeah. Because they'll be distracted somewhere there or they go... I'm to not drinking <laughs> around her. <laughs> and I, I do drink, by the way. I'm, I'm very rarely, but when I do, I drink. I'm not inviting <laughs> Sam any. <laughs> no, so... Yeah, that's a really good point. Yeah. Oh, I hang around drunk people and stay sober. And you have fun, right? I right. have fun. While doing it? Yeah. That is so cool. Yeah. <laughs> so you don't yep. drink at all? Mm -mm. Not even wine? Mm -hmm. Champagne? No. Nothing? No. Yeah, really? Like, like, like alcohol in powder? Oh, yeah. have you tried it and then it didn't work out so well? Mm -hmm. Okay, I get you. Yeah. No, I get you. No, yeah, I, I have a high tolerance. Sorry, <laughs> I'm very expensive. My Indian system is yep. very strong. So when I do drink, it's like a lot. Wow. I have to, I'm so, I'm quite tiny guys. I don't know if you can notice I'm watching. I'm very tiny, but I think in, in the future, I'm gonna stand next to Sam and you're gonna see the difference. You're gonna see how it looks like this. She's like, yeah. <laughs> I'm a tiny chica, but um, I'm, I'm amazed with the whole thing so I think I'm gonna try it. Try it, please. I haven't tried it. Oh no, I'm lying, I'm lying. Okay. There was a time where I was working for TV, right? So mm -hmm. my schedule was way off compared to a normal standard working person, an average person, right. with a normal 9 to 5 job. Uh -huh. So on a weekend, uh, I'll be shooting something and then I'll only get home or say it's a Saturday night and I'm booked till 1 in the morning. Yeah. So when I get to the club when I was younger, everybody's wasted and I just came from work. And then, oh, you came after the party? Yeah, it's oh, like man. 1 a.m. in the morning and I, I need work. So right. I'll get there 1, 1 32 in the morning. Uh, People are so And I'm walking in. How's it going? <laughs> <laughs> like, right. Oh, let me play catch up. <laughs> you know? But I, that was when I was young, dumb, and broke. Oh, okay, what's was it broke up for young and dumb. Yeah, we know that song. But, yeah, so I, I was like, no, man. Every time I used to get somewhere where, I think for three years straight, I used to get there sober as a judge. I didn't think of the thing you did. <laughs> Why didn't I do that? Why? Ah! Oh, guys, we're going to talk about this a little bit more when we come back. Uh, let's catch a commercial break. We'll be right back. We are Attenville FM, the smallest station with the biggest hearts. We cater for all genres of music, hip-hop, house, R&B, Afrikaans, Bollywood, Chutney, Country, Dance, Gospel, Pop, Rock, R&B, and a whole lot more. Our shows are not only entertaining, but informative too. We cater for everyone. Attenville FM. It's for everyone. 
welcome back uh, you're watching attenville tv live you're watching time, time out with myself kimera hilal as your host and by my side the beautiful samantha guy hi guys <laughs> yeah 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 it's Pooza thursday yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> for those of you that just missed the first segment yeah Pooza thursday is drinking alcohol thursday did i did i say that properly mm -mm. <laughs> Is it like no, but then Pusa Thursday only um, applies when it's about to be a month end. Is it? Yeah, it's already month end. It's the twenty. But but didn't it, it originated? Okay, I got a nice story thing. Yeah, I even did my show on this on radio, guys. Mm. Pusa Thursday originated in Soweto, where yeah. they were earning wages, not salaries. They yeah, were yeah. getting paid weekly, and they used to get paid on a Thursday. Yeah, but and now it's the Pusa. It's it's the twenty first century. Yeah. So every time it's month end, guys. Yeah. Uh uh. Oh yeah, uh -uh. <laughs> I like it. Do you know when I was working, I used to get paid on the 23rd of every month. Ooh, wow. And everyone's like, can I go out with you, Kim? I was like, no, wait for your payday and we go out. <laughs> so happy Pusa Thursday to all of you who are <laughs> drinking. Uh, please be safe and behave yourselves. So uh, today, uh, well, uh, forget our intro now. Today, I want to ask you as the viewer and you, Sam. Sure. I want to ask you guys. <laughs> <laughs> that should be interesting. This is going to be fun. Yeah. Okay. So, do you think you should take care of your partner financially if they are unemployed? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't like that look. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, no. I, I, okay, what's your take on this? Um, I mean, yeah, if it's a temporal thing. No, if it's going to be permanent. Hmm. Okay, uh, contact details will be coming up at the bottom of the screen, ladies and gentlemen. Tell us what is your take on this, What your opinion, yep. okay? It's just your opinion, it's fine. What is your take on this? Should you be taking care of your partner financially if they are unemployed? Okay, so your take is if it's temporary. Yeah. Okay, now you don't know if they're going to get a job two they or must, three months from now. I mean, I will know if they're going out every day, every morning, mm -hmm. job hunting. Yeah, I like someone who's like a potato, couch potato, who's yeah. sitting there and like, I'm jobless, I don't have a job and all that. And He's pretty me. Exactly. Yeah. So, it's a big no. No. <coughs> Your she's me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I'm single. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she said it, not me. <laughs> Alright. Let me see my take. Okay, guys, this is what I think. Yeah. How far are you in the relationship, firstly? Mm -hmm. If we're only dating for two, three months, ah, ah. What? Ah, ah. <laughs> ah, ah. Wow, okay. No, I barely know you and you're not. But it also depends why aren't you working? Yeah. What happened? Mm -hmm. Why are you sitting there? Why are you, oh, if you lost your job, that's even a bigger problem. And that shows what happened, what type of person you are. Yeah. Oh my God. And if you caused it and you lost your job and got fired for so-and-so reasons, there's so many different ways you can look at this. Mm -hmm. So if you're a naughty one and you lost a job, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, go in. I'll give you, I'll give you a month to at least get an interview. Okay, straight up, no, sorry. Ah, but, 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 yeah. hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, so if I'm with you for many years, uh -huh. I know you in and out. I love you and you love me and we together for many years and things happen in life. These things happen to people. Yeah. Retrenchments, you lose a job, you know, things happen. Okay. Yeah. It's life. Not everybody has a smooth sailing life. I'm sure you can vouch for this, guys. Um, I do interact with us in the studio today. I do, uh, sorry to cut this off. Okay, so uh, we've got a WhatsApp or Facebook message rather from Stony Melodies. Okay, so he says, afternoon, my favorite ladies. Good afternoon to you too, uh, Stony. Hi, Stony. He, ah, he hashtag Pusa Thursday. <laughs> Loving it. <laughs> Happy Pusa Thursday, honey. All right, so let's get back to it. So, yeah. so you get what I'm saying. I get what you're if, you, if you if you know each other very well, my answer would be no. Um, you can't take care of your So partner. how long does it take for you to get to know your partner? Like fully understand your partner? Oh, growing up, I came up with this when I was a teenager. I yep. need a year to really, really know you. A year? A year. And this is what I'm talking about. I'm not only talking about your personality. Okay. I'm talking about your dirty, bad habits. It takes... I notice something about the human, mm -hmm. the, the human being. I'm talking about you like I'm a robot. <laughs> okay, so right. human beings, I notice between three to six months. Some people can act for three months. Oh, wow, yeah. They can act very well. If you're very good, six months. And then wow. you break. And then your, your, your true self starts to show. The mask falls off and you see the truth of who you really with. 
you see a monster or you see someone using the alcohol. Oh my God, this person is really beautiful, you know? Yeah. And so my answer is if I'm with you for more than a year. Okay. Yes, we can we can work. We'll work through it together if you're not working. Um, I'll 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 support you. For six you. months you're not working. What? So you will work together for six months as long as you're not working for six months. Sorry, let, let me let me let yeah. me rephrase that. Okay, so <clears throat> the whole acting period is six uh-huh. months. Yeah. But if you're not working, I'll support you. But I will also assist you in trying to get a job because we're in this together. Remember? Right. Oh, it's your future. Yeah. Doing. So you you'll help your partner. I yeah. feel you will help assist your partner in every way that you can. And obviously, the only thing you can't do is go in the interview with your partner. But um, I, I think eventually he or she would get a job. But the way this economy is going, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> we're creating opportunity, yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. So. Well, answer is yes and no, but at yeah. least you know where I stand. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Okay, so uh, we've got another message here from Facebook on the screen. As Tony says, uh, one hand can't wash itself. Two hands can wash each other. So she, the female, yeah. should help me as I help her. Isn't that partnership? Yes, yo, yes, yo. Tony. <laughs> yeah, I like you, honey. <laughs> well done there. Yeah, we have to help each other. Right. And, and in, a, in a long-term relationship, you'll notice... Uh-huh. There'll be times where the male would fall and the female would fall. Yeah. You you have your bed up and down. And if they take time to have up and down. So having it together, I don't want to know what to think of that. <laughs> but it's, uh, it happens. It's part of life. But uh, guys, uh, coming up next, uh, we'll talk about this a bit more. But for now, we're cutting to a commercial break. We'll be right back. Cortex Solutions. For all your cyber security and IT solutions, call 87 087- 150-5642. That's 087-150-5642. And we're back. You're watching Attenbull TV Live. And this is Time Out with myself, Kimiana Hidalal, as your host. Mm-hmm. And by my side, Samantha Guy. Hi, guys. Ah. <laughs> so, so we were talking yeah. about... Every time I say, oh, I have a giggle. Did you notice that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Should you be taking, or would you rather? Let yeah. me let me rephrase that. Would you be taking? No, I don't say. Should you be taking care of your partner financially if they are unemployed? But you see my face in the beginning. Interesting. <laughs> okay, so yeah. your your take is no. Like I said, um, mm. like you say, it takes you uh six months to a year to get to know a year, a year, year right? Yeah. So for me, if I meet someone, it mm. should be my future. I get you. Right. So I wouldn't go into a relationship not knowing or knowing that it won't last. That's just like a waste of time. I get you. No, right. It is. It is. So uh, for me to, to actually invest, it's like an investment. Okay. You understand? So if I help you get a job mm. or you help me get a job, mm. you're investing. Mm. So that money is going to be spent on both of us. Right. Other than that, if you feel like, okay, I'm a burden mm. and I come with my problems. I mean, we all have packages that we need another person to help you ask for it rather. And so if I come to you, I'm like, hey, look, I'm jobless and mm. um, I need money. Mm. You have those people. Yeah. And then you feel sorry for them for the yeah. first uh, few months or weeks, I say. Mm. Maximum is two w- months. You say two months. Yeah. Is that your take? Yeah. yeah. If you if you <clears throat> don't get a uh, job or work, uh, yeah. when you're trying rather. And uh, if it goes on for too long and you're using the same excuse and I don't see any progress and you Asking me a month, like it increases every <laughs> now and then, and then I'm like, this is a problem. It is. You're becoming a liability right. because now you be like, okay, I don't have money. May I please have this and this? Mm-hmm. And then it ends up being two thousand, three thousand, and you don't see where it's going. Yeah, you understand? I get you. Oh, now that's a nightmare. I want to hear from you guys. Uh, do you interact with us? Uh, the contact details you'll find it at the bottom of the screen. <laughs> and uh, we're talking about should you be taking care of your partner financially if yeah. they are unemployed? Before we carry on, huh. any fun stories in the taxis lately? No, it's with the government. The government? Mm. Oh yeah, you heard <laughs> we're gonna vote. No, not <clears> that. <throat> oh, which one? Water. Oh yeah. Oh, no, we don't have water for two days now, guys. You don't have water. No. Oh, so that thing was correct. I thought yes. it was a, a, no. a scam. No, we all mm. thought it was a scam. So I we didn't put water in any buckets or bottles. And now we're like, <laughs> there's this uh, community tip that everyone's going to. Now you have to wake up around 4 in the morning <laughs> <laughs> to be first in line. Oh. And if you get there around 6, they'll tell you, no, there's someone in front of me. And yeah. then that person in front of that person will tell you, no, there's also other people in front of me. 
Mm. Now you or they're keeping space for exactly. the, the friends. So I come and say, okay, Kimera, please stand here. Yeah. And I'm behind you yeah. I'm going home. I need to go sleep. I'm tired. Yeah. And then I come back with my entire family. I'm like, Kimera, <laughs> <laughs> I was here, right? And he was like, yeah. But the, uh, the There's day, a queue. Yeah. And then he was like, no, come, come in. So if we're neighbors, ah, perfect. Bring your entire family. Mm-mm. And I'll do it for you. Mm-mm. That's how it is. Mm-mm. And so my mom was like, no, it's too dangerous to walk in the streets around four. Mm. It's still dark. Yeah. And so, ugh, my word. So, did you, did you guys, your guys were visiting uh, like tankers? No, they you come with? around uh, three in, in the What do morning. they come with? Tankers, obviously the yeah. tanks. Yeah. And then, I mean, we all sleeping there around three. Yeah, and I'm then, waking up for work. Yeah, but then, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's still dark. You know how dark yeah, it is, yeah, right? Yeah. So around the time, I mean... It's night time. Mm-mm. You're still getting mm-hmm. cream, cream. Like <laughs> <laughs> so it's not advisable to be walking in the street. So you were up early this morning? No. We saved up some our water oh, before, good. but then now it's running out. So praying this government can bring back our water. Because I got this letter yeah. stating that, you know, we, we, um, yeah. we, we're going to be cut for, for two days, just like what you experienced. Yeah. So then when I realized, nah, there's still water, yeah, like, <laughs> Exactly. It is water. So Alberton. So Alberton's down. Yeah. Yeah. All of Alberton. All right. Uh, well, Stoney is uh, interacting with us again in the studio. He says, but sometimes unemployment is caused by laziness. So in that matter, I won't blame a woman who refuses to help. <laughs> <laughs> you know, too, Stoney. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I told you, those people catch potato. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, well, thank you for interacting with us uh, in the studio today, uh, Stoney. We appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. uh, did your water cut, Stoney? Where are you from? Are you from Attenborough? <laughs> or are you from Alberton or Palm Bridge? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm from the I don't, I don't think the water cut. Mm. Well, uh, there's nobody I can even ask. My mom is in Cape Town. Right. She's on business. So, uh, shout out to you, mums. Hope the weather is okay there. I hope the fires and everything have stopped. Yeah. But yeah, so so today you had water. Mm-mm. No, you, you're running out. I'm sorry. <sighs> I can give you a bucket. <laughs> yeah, oh, we wow. We've got to the studio up there. Take that for tomorrow morning. Imagine. Yeah, and yeah, then no. takes it the bucket. Yeah. Excuse me, please. Yeah. Don't nope. bump my water <laughs> again. <laughs> They're yeah. going to think I'm, um, what's this thing? <laughs> Rituals for rituals. Yeah. And they look at you funny when you get your buckets. Especially yeah. the black one. Yeah. We all look at these women funny. Like, what's what's black bucket? Yeah. So what's in there? I don't know. Oh, but you assume mood is... <laughs> Not really. Like what? something strange. Something strange. Yeah, that's in there. Because, because they don't want anyone black. to touch it. They don't want anyone to touch it. Maybe yeah. it's special or sacred. Yeah, let's put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> what yeah. is in those black buckets? Do you South Africans know what's in your black bucket? Water. Should be water. Did you ever ask? Mm-mm. I'd ask. Mm-mm. <laughs> she, she's, a, she's a journalist now. She should ask her, what's in the bucket, huh? <laughs> yeah, we can see the, how people are going to look at you like, eh, eh. Don't ask. Know your, your place. Business. Yeah. Oh, know wow. Your place. Yeah. That's how rude they are. Really? Yeah. Yo. <laughs> a black bucket. Wait. I have black buckets here uh, at the studio, guys. Uh, it had paint in it. But that was because the studio is black. You yeah, get it, you so get it, and the roof is black. <clears throat> so you get what? Yeah, maybe it was paint. How? Aye, paint can <laughs> be there. Like, like the bucket is supposed to have something in it. Oh, there's nothing in there. There's nothing, and she carries it every single maybe day. Maybe human body parts. They can't be that light. Uh, no. <laughs> I'm, I'm just freaking you guys out. All right, guys, uh, join us in conversation. But before you do, uh, let's cut to the commercial break. We'll be right back. A star for all your music needs, contact Rockstar B Productions South Africa. We offer music production, publishing, artist management, and digital distribution. For further information, contact 084 605 5466. And we're back, and you're live with us on Atten Bowl TV. You're watching Time Out with myself, Kimera Hiralal, as your host, okay. and by my side, the beautiful Samantha Kai. Hi, guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, so before we, we we go back to our topic of conversation, yeah, the water thing. Ah, uh, did you not phone home today and see if it's back? Uh-uh. Oh, 
I'm like, I'll stay over. I'll stay right here. Like, <laughs> I'm residing in Attenville now, guys. <laughs> By the way, my folks are from the south, as in Lanasia South. So it's farther than Soweto. It's far. Yes, it's the boom boom. It's a farm. You call me a farm girl. Yeah, so. Okay, topic of conversation today. But before we start, here's the contact details coming across your screen. Today we're talking about should you be taking care of your partner financially if they are unemployed. <laughs> All right, uh, we got another message here from Stoney. He says, I love you ladies, but can't reveal my location. Ah, oh, Stoney. They would have been cool. Is Stoney a real name? Mm. <laughs> But thank you for interacting with us and thank you for always supporting us. We really appreciate it. It helps us to grow as, as a TV station and as well as Attenville FM. Oh, on that topic, for those of you who are watching this for the first time, this is, uh, well, the, the, the TV side of our entire company. All right, we come from a place called Attenville FM, which is a radio station based in Attenville. Community station, still growing, still young. So... Basically, what I'm telling you guys, uh, if you do want to tune in, you love radio and good music and great entertainment, please do join me every single weekday, Monday through to Friday, from 6 a.m. up until 9 on the Breakfast Express show. There, I'm known as DJ Baby Girl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's how loud I'll show you. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, just straight after me, you'll see a little uh, business talk. And then after that, at midday... <laughs> Sam Styles, guys. <laughs> Airing from 12 to 3 p.m. every weekdays, guys. It's called the Review Show. Yeah, yeah. You, know, you like it. She reviews everything. <laughs> everything about you, about things, about other things, and things, things, and then. Yeah. And I actually got the free meal today. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yay! It's called, um, what's it called? Banana, banana curry. Banana curry? Yeah. It was my first time trying it. Thank you, Justin. Banana <laughs> Yay, guys. <curry. laughs> yeah. It's actually not like it's those green bananas. Okay. Yeah. So they chop them up and then mix them in a curry sauce and all that. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. Was it tasty? Yeah. I love it. Banana I love it. curry. So <laughs> 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 no, anything. I mean, guys, you can feed me. Banana. I mean, yeah. Uh -huh. The taste of curry and then there's a the taste of banana. It's a, like a raw banana, it's not ripe, so obviously not it won't give off that. Raw banana. Yeah. I don't cook tasty. bananas, what do you mean raw banana? <laughs> I'm, so, I'm surprised it's banana in a curry. <laughs> okay. Right. Banana curry. Guys, have you tasted it? Okay, I can't, I can't even vouch for that. I can't, I can't <laughs> tell you anything. I can't say it. Banana curry. Mm-hmm. You guys should try it. Okay, but you, you enjoyed it, right? Mm -hmm. I enjoyed it. Okay, so the curry part, was it, did it really taste like curry? It tasted like curry. And the banana tasted like banana. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta picture the food together. <laughs> Sorry, I can't. You'll never know. <laughs> yeah. Unless I go home and I'm like, hey, yep. banana. And curry. Curry. I, I can't. It's masala, guys. I can't picture that. Oh, wow. It's amazing. You mm. sure? Yeah. We can try it. I have some left. Yeah. Oh, okay, nice. you're gonna put a spoon. I'm gonna tell you guys tomorrow that <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna review <laughs> her show. <laughs> Banana yep. curry. Mm -hmm. Sam. Hey, uh uh. You know, yep. she, you know she's on a Sam Styles, right? That, that sounds like no style. Uh uh. Banana and curry. Okay, yeah. but okay, I'm gonna taste it and then I can get back to you. But it sounds, it's amazing. Very strange. And we also have Amadumbe curry. Amadumbe. What's Amadumbe? So Amadumbe is almost like potatoes. Oh, that Madumbe is... Yeah. I'm not German, guys. I'm so we said Amadumbe. So, so we say, we call it Madumbe. <laughs> we call it Amadumbe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we also have Amadumbe curry put together with banana curry. Amazing. And uputu. Yeah. Yeah. You know that one, right? Yes. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. Tasty. <laughs> I have to give her the banana, that's why my face is still like this Because I can't picture the banana in the curry I just, I... This is not apricot curry Apricot <clears throat> Yeah. Apricots in a curry 
Ah, uh, man, look at this child is doing to me. No, man. <laughs> That's why you have to tune into my show. I give crazy reviews. Rather guys. tune into Actionable <laughs> FM about her. It's called The Review yep. with Sam Styles. That's her radio name. Join her there tomorrow. Well, every single weekday, yep. Monday through to Friday. Same as the Breakfast Express show with myself, 6 to 9 in the morning. Because it's Breakfast Show. Yep. Central African time. Don't forget, we are in South Africa. Uh, all right, guys. Well, we're going to have to go now. Yeah. Are you happy? We're going? No. 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 We're never happy when we're going. <laughs> All right. So we'll check you guys tomorrow. Same time, same place. Catch us here at 4 p.m. Uh, we do apologize for broadcasting uh, late this afternoon. We did have a few technical difficulties, so we apologize for that. But fear not, we're always going to be here anyway. Better late than never, right? Yep. Yeah. All right. So we'll check you guys tomorrow, 4 p.m. on uh, the beautiful. It's going to be Friday. Ooh, it's going to be Friday. It's on Friday, guys. <laughs> She don't drink, but she's an alcoholic. Now nah, I'm waiting for the money. <laughs> she, she'll say hang out with you every day, so she'll yeah. drink every day, so you get free cash. Ah, I'm gonna start joining her. <laughs> don't drink, don't do drugs. D- everything you do, stay, stay sane. Well, sober. Stay focused. Yeah, folk. This one, focused. Yeah, she's, she'll be the reviewer. I call her <laughs> snitch. I'm gonna start. That's a new nickname. Uh, I'm kidding. Okay, okay. I think I like it. Well. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, from myself, Kimera Hidalal, and Samantha Kai this afternoon. We'll check you guys tomorrow. Bye bye. Adios, guys. <laughs>